Hi, Daniel from Datadog here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Terraform to manage Datadog resources. For example, creating a monitor. Datadog monitor allows you to configure queries and create alerts, and it looks for certain metadata as well. In this case, I'm looking for high CPU usage in your production environment. Of course, I can create this monitor manually, but in order to scale up and collaborate with other services, you can use Terraform to facilitate that. What we are looking at here is a Terraform configuration file. It is using the Datadog provider, which is used to interact with the resources supported by Datadog. In order to use this provider, first thing you need to do is to obtain your unique Datadog API key and up key from your Datadog portal. To begin, we'll start from writing a resource definition for Datadog Monitor and give it a name. In this case, I will just call my Monitor. As part of the Datadog provider, we'll define a name and a message and an alert query for the Monitor. All of these are incongruent with Datadog's APIs. So the fields you see here are going to match up with Datadog's APIs. And as you can see in this example, we can also use both Terraform variables and Datadog tags to create these monitors dynamically. If you're not sure where to start, you can always manually create the monitor in Datadog UI first. And go to this gear and click export and you can see the monitor in JSON format and see how each field is defined and how you like to configure your monitor. One thing that is important to remember is if you create a monitor manually from the UI, this monitor is not going to be automatically imported into Terraform state. However, you do have the option to manually map the resource using Terraform import command. First, you need to copy the monitor ID from this JSON file. And use this command, terraform import resource type dot resource name, which needs to match your terraform code. And the last bit here is the monitor ID. In addition to monitor, Terraform also supports other Datadog resources like creating dashboards, managing downtime, and more. For more information, I encourage you to check out Terraform's documentation for data provider. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.